What is happening? Turbo Toys here. But you can call me Turbo and today, the sun's out, gun's out, let's go toy hunting. Yes boys, like we said, the weather is banging today and we're going to start off with the B&M run. A run that's been so good to us throughout lockdown and it's been the saviour of the toy hunts in the United Kingdom. Yes, B&M has given the boys somewhere to go and hunt while other places was closed due to the restrictions. And last time we was here, it was WrestleMania week, so we're hoping that they may have restocked and put some new stuff out. And... They do still have the Andre the Giant and the Macho Man, as well as this Raw Tag Team Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, my finger's in the way. Now, they are still stocking the WrestleMania basics, and they are pretty cool, but I was hoping, as for the Championship Showdown packs, we was going to get something a bit more up-to-date, rather than Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss and Roman Reigns and Finn Balor. And then, of course, one solo Finn Balor. Now, as for the play sets, they got the Bray Wyatt John Cena WrestleMania 36 ring, as well as the Wrecking Ring, and, of course, the Slammer Bill and the Drew McIntyre Slam Cycle. Now, it ain't a toy hunt unless we see my old friend Peely, and to be honest, it ain't looking good. It don't look like he's here. And as for the Funko Pop section, not much to shout about here, but the Friends ones was pretty cool. A couple of Star Wars, a couple of Game of Thrones, and a lot of Catwoman, and wait a minute. There he is! So we've got to take this store as an old boys, because they had less in here than they did at WrestleMania week, but they do have the Turbo Fire. Right, jumping into the next B&M store, we're hoping that they may have restocked this one after WrestleMania. But the signs ain't looking too great because they got this one slammer bill. So the chances ain't looking good for a restock. But we must search for Peely on our way through. Now I've never played Fortnite. But I see that Peely figure everywhere I used to go. But it looks like he ain't in this store. So the search for Peely continues. Now I must say, how good is it that these figures come with a ton of accessories? That's real quality from a figure line. Now as we make our way to the WWE section. Now one Mia Yim basic and all these Finn Balors. Now if they weren't $17.99... And they put these at a decent price. Just to clear them, I would actually buy the lot. A couple of fairly decent battle packs, including this Andrade and Zelina Vega. They all look like they've been sitting here for a while, so we're taking it as an L, boys. So as we move on to the third B&M store, and at this point, I'm not holding out much hope. And my suspicions would be correct, because this is how we left this store two weeks ago. Even still got that poor Roman Reigns with a broken nick. Not as many figures from McFarlane's DC Multiverse either, with just Superman and Batman sitting on the shelves. Alright boys, let's stop messing around and get on to the main event, Smith Toys. And as we go in there boys, let's have a quick look and see what's on the clearance section. They've got from the Abomination Builder figure series, Captain Marvel or Marvel, and the Miss Marvel figures. But sadly they only had these two from that wave, so your chances of building a full Abomination are pretty slim. Now in the previous Smith store we went to, I did see that Captain America from this series, but in the ways of Marvel Legends and clearance, there ain't really much. They do have this Morbius from the Deadpool Builder figure series, and that was it really. And sadly, not much in the ways of WWE figures on clearance. They had a few basic Roman Reigns, a few basic Ronda Rouseys, and a few basic Braun Strowmans. And I believe they were cheaper than £9.99, but I wasn't really too bothered about them, so I wasn't really too fussed about going to check their pricing. And as for the Elites, they had one Kyrie Sane, one Matt Hardy, and four Braun Strowmans. Now, as we make our way to the Marvel section, now this is the first time I've seen that Infinity Gauntlet Thanos. And of course, they've got the usual suspects from the Stiltman Builder Figure series, including the Hand Ninja. They had Gwen Stacy, they had Peter B. Pegwalmer, or uh, Parker. And from the same series, they also had Prowler, but I didn't see Frogman, or I didn't see Miles Morales. And I only had five of the figures from the Tri-Sentinel Builder Figure series, which was Wolverine, Omega, Cyclops, Charles Xavier, and Magneto. I hope I made Elite Legend proud there. And I thought it was really cool to see the Lightning Collection from the Power Rangers, but unfortunately no Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now they had some really cool 6-inch vintage carback Star Wars figures, including the TIE Fighter Pilot and the Rebel Soldier. They also had the Lando Carizian and the Dagobah Luke. And the great thing is they're £14.99, so if you collect them, go grab yourself a bargain, boys. And of course, they're stocking the three and three quarter inch vintage car back figures, including the child from The Mandalorian. I did stop picking up the Black Series a while ago, but now coming from a Star Wars background, I've got one rule. If there's a Boba Fett, I'll buy him, but unfortunately they didn't have him, or fortunately they didn't have him in this store at this time. Now, they had a couple of Mandalorian worldwide shelf warmers, but they also did have the Luke and Han in their Endor gear, but I think it's time to walk away. 
Now, not that I collect Funko Pops or know much about them, I'll leave that stuff for Dave's dungeon, but Smiths always seem to bring it with a massive wall of Funko Pops. They had Marvel, Pokemon, Simpsons, Friends, they even had Freddy Mercury, but if I was to collect them, I would probably go down this route, the, uh, the WWE superstars. See there, Ric Flair, we've got The Undertaker. As we move up, we've got the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Of course, we've got The Rock. So I know a few subscribers are into their manga, and I did get into a couple of conversations about what Smith's actually stocked, which wasn't actually much, including a couple of bits from the Dragon Ball Z. Now, if there's one current figure line that brings a mass amount of nostalgia, it's the Masters of the Universe Origins figure line. Now, not much of the ways of choice in the UK. I know the US had a bit of run with these figures, but nonetheless, really cool to see these figures in store. That's a cool predator there as well. But I hope to see more of these Masters down the line. Also really cool to see Panthor and the Battle Cat. I'd really love to see a comparison with the originals. But really glad to finally see these figures on the shelves. Right boys, this is the reason why I come here today. It's so good to see that they've still got a great variety of WWE figures in store. And I love the fact that they've still got figures from the Survivor Series, the WrestleMania line and the Royal Rumble. And we can see that what's also really cool is that the majority of the normal Elite line are all reduced to £17.49. Now I did look and unfortunately that British Bulldog was still full price but very cool to see him on the pegs. But a great selection of figures from series 83 and 84 and there was even stocking a few older elites like the AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. So for anyone who may have missed out on getting these figures it's a possibility that your Smiths might still have them. And it's really cool to see that they're stocking both the Chase variants. Now I think I'm going to pick up the blue one today because I understand that he's got the new back tattoo but it's really cool that Smiths are stocking both of the Chase variants, whereas before, it hasn't been as easy as it has in recent times to actually pick up the Chase in the series. They are still stocking the Ambulance, or the Slambulance, and they have still got both of the Wrecking Slammer bills. And of course, they've got all the current ring playsets, including the WrestleMania 28 and the WrestleMania 36. Now, next to the most important plushie in the store, they do have the AEW section. And they had Darby Allen, the Young Bucks, Riho, they had Dustin Rhodes, and of course they had Peck. And like I said in the previous video, I don't collect many of these AEW figures, but it is cool to see that they are still on the shelves. As well as this UK exclusive Cody Rhodes with the ring. But boys, as we go back into the Turbo Zone to see what we picked up, and the only thing we picked up was his standard Elite 84, Jeff Hardy. Will I pick up the other Chase version? Only time will tell, but the last time Jeff Hardy was the Chase in the series, I did pick up both. I'm sure my friend Clark remembers that weekend, but we're going to take the W for the Smiths hunt and say... That's going to do it for this one. Boys, let me know. Did you enjoy the hunt? What was your favourite action figures from this toy hunt? I want to know what you're all looking forward to grabbing in the future. And I know I am, boys, but are you all enjoying being back at Smith's? I hope you all enjoyed the hunt. And if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram where you can see more of my custom figure work at Turbo Toys. Happy hunting, everybody. And until the next video, I will see ya. When I see ya.